Good morning, Titan City. I'm your man, Alien. You are watching the Cyber News, and currently we are five parsecs from home. No! So, here we are, our third anniversary. I actually cannot believe this. It's, it's been already three years, like <laughs> tons of minis, tons of work, uh, tons of fun. Uh, for those of you that uh, was with us since the beginning, uh, happy anniversary! But for all of you, uh, all the rest of you, also <laughs> nice to have you here with us. We are of course celebrating uh, with making some special release, you already know this. We went into the collaboration with Modifius Entertainment and make minis for 5 parsecs from home. Uh, I was talking about this in the small preview, so there was no secret about it, now you have whole preview, all minis, actually the release will uh, came out probably uh, tomorrow, so when you will be watching this video you will probably all on, on uh, also have hands on the minis, uh, so you can uh, check, check them f out for yourself, but 3 years, 3 years, Pfft, crazy, crazy, like uh, this is the, our third, 37th release, so, and in each one of them, a bucket of minis, <laughs> like uh, some changes every half a year. We were trying to make some di something different, something new, something more. Uh, team uh, changed a bit since the beginning. Uh, like for now, the, 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 the crew is me, Marcin and other Marcin. Uh, but also my man Arta is helping me um, with some with sculpting. Like we have a very small team. Uh, but I'm sincerely, ho excuse me, hoping that we are managed to give you something cool uh, each month. So, okay, I think that's enough. Uh, at the end of the video, I will talk also about some uh, things related to the to the anniversary. But for now, we have uh, have to talk about the minis, the collaboration, and what's going on. Uh, what is it? So, uh, the idea came out, uh, where we, I think, maybe earlier, but uh, the talks for, for it was when we are on Gamma um, uh, this year. This is like Romek's idea and Chris from Modifius. Romek is our boss, uh, Titan Forge. Uh, so they talked about it and they thought out that actually, because Cyberforge is very efficient, <laughs> but true, uh, that we can pull it off. And so uh, he took me to the to have some conversation. Mm, we talked about it, and one pro problem not problem but uh, small obstacle was the was the time, <laughs> as always. Uh, so my idea was that it would be awesome to put this out as an anniversary uh, release, so it would be something interesting for you guys. Mm, since also this was, I was very excited about it, but because when we started those three years ago. Uh, already lots of you, and thank you very much for it, was talking about, oh yeah, your minis are so cool, we will be using this for 5 parsecs from home. And I was like, mm, what is what is 5 parsecs from home? I have to Google, Google it. And since then, because I wasn't playing it, and but since then, uh, this was like regular comment uh, or hashtag on Instagram or when I saw some posts of our minis, very often the part, the RPG part, like now Titan City Stories part, uh, those minis are on Instagram very often used in the pictures of uh, minis for 5 parsecs from home. So it was like very cool coincidence that we talk about it and it's very, very cool to uh, to do this. Um, also with the, the idea for, for this release. So we started to talk about it and um, the guys from Modifuse, the Chris was so cool about it that I actually couldn't believe it because usually when you make something for the license or like um, for something already for existing IP because you know we are already we're always making original part in RPG, usually you are restricted by the uh, guidelines for something to look like, to have this or that, to be exactly like on the concept art or, for, for, or the other art, but this, uh, in this case, Chris was like, uh, you guys are making cool minis. I would very like much, very like want to see how you do your own twist, your Cyber Forge twist with those minis. And I was like, whoa, this is this is so cool. This is like, <laughs> really, this was like, 
because I was a bit, a bit afraid because I'm used to work like freely, like making my own ideas. Of course, I also work from, from concepts, but most of the time I'm concepting the stuff in my head. And that's why those means are so crazy. Uh, but uh, but really, uh, this was like another very fortunate step for this uh, for this union of Cyberforge and and five parsecs from home. So I was like very excited about it. Like I said, I was a bit worried uh, if we could pull it off in that short time uh, because you know I'm, I'm I'm talking about this from time to time that we are like already two months ahead usually in the releases. So stuffs are not always made but planned prepared like um, something like that so we have to like push something uh, out squeeze it and as always work hard and stay here <laughs> in the weekends uh, just to pull it off and I was like also very determined to to do it good to make it just uh, if, you can, if, you can, if I can say that uh, if you say that like, like this you know I think you know what I mean because I was for me this was very important to make this right, uh, of course, for the for the modifus entertainment, because uh, for the Ivan, for the Chris, uh, so they can be proud and not be ashamed of what we've done. Uh, also for you guys, because since you are already like pulling the Cyber Forge into the side of Five Parsecs from Home, I thought, okay, okay, we have to we have to make it right. So I just started work on it, and it was a lot of work, but hopefully, and uh, from what I can tell from the likes and the comments from the on the post of the Patreon, you actually liked it. And, uh, okay, I think because there was a lot of stuff along the way, also organization stuff, talks, uh, but I won't be boring you with this. It's already, this will be a long, a long video. Uh, but let's talk about minis. Uh, over here, we of, of course, have, uh, have a poster. Mm. Uh, with the color palette, uh, the posters, those posters are like now great work, works of art because I don't have time to like sit on the one illustration for half a month. Uh, so I'm trying to like put this out very quickly, but still have uh, like the feels of the like movie poster or something like that. And over here, and you can already tell that on this poster there are there is this guy. He's not there. And why? On this poster we have uh, all the main characters. Cool. So the main characters are like the main crew uh, for for five, pa five parsecs. And uh, the very interesting stuff about ah, I already sold it uh, wrong, but ah, oh, so sorry. <laughs> but no worries. The uh, what I'm getting with this uh, during making this um, uh, release. I had I like idea. Okay, we have to do something special because we already uh, said that we will make the crew, make the terrains uh, for it, and some enemies. And I was looking about uh, in the in the rule book, and on the front page th there was this guy, and then he's over over here. And I'm and I was thinking, okay, wouldn't it be cool for the Modifius Entertainment, and of course for you guys. If we can pull him off and like give him as a, as a bonus because we didn't uh, agree to make him, uh, he was not in the plans. So I would uh, talk to Marcin to okay, just try to make quick bust out of him and we will just add him not as a mini but as a uh, as a bust because we didn't talk about him. I already have him here. Uh, I have some test test prints so I will try to show you everything also. Um, Okay, we made him already. We show him in the uh, in the preview, which you already saw, and lots of you was telling, okay, okay, he's, he's cool. Why there's no mini of him? And I was like, mm, we have no time. I already like have to pack everything, prepare for print and stuff like that, and and also like normally work uh, on another release, uh, actually. So I was like, okay, I don't know if we can pull it off. We can for sure make him in maybe some future release or something like that. But then I get the mail email from uh, from Chris uh, from Modifus Entertainment and oh wouldn't it be cool we have very uh, and he's telling is telling me that they also have very good reaction for our preview can we make this guy happen and I was like okay now I can't say no so <laughs> yet again I had to like uh, work uh, and make him and he's already here I have also print printed him uh, and I will show you the the mini in the in the second with the, with the picture it would look better of course uh, so he's here 
so that was like some kind of reverse engineering because we usually you make mini and after that we make bust from it but but now we have to make it like other way around so modify the the bust and make the mini out of him uh, but was, that was also cool because uh, like I said, if we have time and we have some cool feedback from you guys, and most of you already know this, if we can make it in time, we will pull it off. We like make some funny minis that you commented or something like that. Usually we don't have time, but those ideas goes um, goes to the future, so we will probably make it in the future release. But for now we have to make it like this, so it was like a, another thing to do, but was still cool to do it. So, uh, I will just get back over here to the uh, whole overview. So like the, um, the deal was to make crew, like standard crew, based on what we have in the uh, main rulebook um, and some enemies for them. So, uh, first guy that I started to making was the engineer. I show you him on, on the small preview. And like I said, we have to like loosely base him on, uh, on, uh, on, um, this is not art from, from, from the rulebook. And like I said, the coolest things ever was that the guys told us that you don't have to make like one-to-one -one copy of it, but just make your own spin. Actually, engineers were actually quite not easy, but it was easy for me to do them because I like understand the whole idea of the of this race, of this of these characters. So yeah, like some working panel, guns, and stuff like that helmet uh, the hood like just cool like uh, more smart character but still still feisty and uh, very cool to do him mm, next we have feral okay and we talked about it uh, in the rulebook he looked like this and i was very excited but because i'm a dog guy so i was saying okay i will just make a dog a big dog with some like i already made some were sci-fi were werewolves so I was cool with that, uh, and once once I show you uh, the like the middle work, um, I I'm assuming a bit uh, that because from the description of the uh, of this character they can be dog like, but they usually also are like cat like, and I'm assuming that uh, guys wanted them to be more cat. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just like I, I would just I was just like reading between the lines. Maybe not, but they were so cool about it because I told them, oh, I love dogs. I already make this uh, like a dog guy. They were cool, cool. Just make him like less <laughs> super bulky, but more like um, elegant. I hope I manage that. Uh, but since he's still like uh, a werewolf, <laughs> and uh, and he has this like tracker device. Um, and heavy, uh, heavy pistol. Like, yeah, I, I like, I like it because he, he's, he's a doggo, <laughs> doggo. Mm, so that was like idea behind him. I have him also, of, of course, over here. Everything, everything prints, prints awesome. He's not that small. He's he's smaller than the usual werewolves that I did like few releases ago. Uh, so he's not that big, actually, uh, in comparison to like normal, uh, normal guy. Uh, and he's like quite quite skinny for the werewolf because they are not werewolves, but you you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, yeah, a very quick quick idea for uh, for making. Um, I keep turning this off for making this guy. Uh, and the swift, the swift was like, hmm, <laughs> that was a challenge, and I tell you why. Uh, because uh, when we talked about this character, uh, the Chris told me that they are like smaller because I already I saw them on the. Uh, on the uh, art, but in here you you, you can tell how, how tall they are. Of course, in the description they are they're told that they are smaller. Okay, so no so no problem about that. But if you make like very small like hobbits like characters, there is a problem that they will be like very small to play. So I have to like work with uh, with his pose. And uh, in this picture you can see you ha he has this addition on the on the base just for him to make him a bit taller. He's not that small because he's still like a long at, a long at? There's a, there's a word, very long in, in, in. so. Uh, so he stands very tall and also have this addition because it's it, it separates. So if you don't like the stuff that he's standing on, it's like some air swift or something like that just to, just to make him a bit taller. 
on the on the base. You can uh, definitely print him without it because this is attachable, uh, and but it, it will help you to attach him to the to the base. But he still has like flat uh, flat surface on his on his leg, so there's no problem with atta attaching him. Uh, so that was like first uh, first problem. Second problem I had with him, and this was actually like my uh, because I usually don't do fantasy stuff, and uh, some of the clothing are like on the arts are like like fantasy related, and that was like hurting my brain because I wanted to make like some of this technological armor or something, and they are like in robes. Uh, of course, there are still robes in science fiction. I, I get this. But it was harder for me. But I think he he came out uh, came out very cool. He holds he's holding like grenades in his arm and he's in his uh, tail. Mm, so uh, and uh, still, how to make someone looking like lizard and to be like a character? I hope I hope I manage that uh, with his face. Uh, you guys already were asking to make more of them, and I'm hoping that in the future we can make like whole unit of them or something like that. Uh, I will be very, very cool for me to do this. Uh, and actually, this was like smaller mini, and it was very, um, it had very good reception with you guys. So, so thank you. I, I, I'm very glad you you like him. So that was the Swift. Next, we have Precursor, uh, and I started with her, uh, like with the art. Uh, <laughs> the coolest thing ever was when I was talking with Chris. He was to uh, talking me, uh, talking me through this character. Is telling me uh, about about them, and 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 he said, and, and sh she also has a visor, and visors are cool. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, actually they are. When everyone when in the science fiction setting where they have some visors, they look cool. So yeah, the visors definitely had to be there. I uh, um, first I made her with with the staff because she has a staff on 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 the on the art. Uh, but when, when we were reviewing, uh, reviewing, uh, uh, like in the middle of the war work, uh, the guys asked me if, if we can just like, remove the stuff and give her like elegant pistol, like almost elder like. So I went uh, with um, uh, some stuff on her armor and of course with this gun, like in the area of, of Eldar or some like royalty, something like that. Uh, and this is still like, then you, you're starting to look like a knight. But they're also like night in space, so yeah, yeah. That was like for me. This was like this was a challenge to make science fiction miniatures with a bit of fantasy stuff. Um, but I think we can. Uh, I, I manage uh, this with her. She's she is like elegant, long hair, like almost elf like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, next, Karin. <laughs> with this guy. Woo. Uh, where is he? Okay, I I have him somewhere. Over. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. I have him somewhere over here. He print prints also well. Uh, but we're talking about and, and the like. We have to like make it this quick, so descriptions have to be like very recognizable for me. So uh, I heard that they are almost like Klingons, so like brawling, fighting guys in space, like war race. Uh, so I was okay, cool. Let's like let's have a look at them. And I'm uh, turning this off. And this guy looks like mm, like dark elf demon fantasy, like with skull. And I was like, oh, again, again. How can I do this to look um, sci-fi with our spin? Because of course I I could copy this, uh, but we don't want that. So this is it. This is after a lot of work because I don't know if you watched the uh, Farscape. And there's a character over there, Kadargo, and he's like, actually the warrior space race, like space Klingons, so it's not just Klingons are space, <laughs> uh, but uh, from Farscape, and I, I was talking about, okay, I will make him like Dargo, uh, with the armor, so armor is inspired from the art, but also from the character from the Farscape, uh, but uh, when I was making it, I'm I'm just look at this and I said, okay, but Dargo is also like a fantasy guy in space because running around with sword. Uh, but I th hope I can I I, I I was able to pull pull him off. He I'm very like this rigid uh, rigid armor. It's like, like it looks like this stuff on his arm and his legs. And also have this on the back of his skull. 
Uh, this stuff looks like very 80s, uh, 80s space suits. Uh, I, I, I like it. I hope you guys also on his back. I, I don't have many that I can, uh, I can show, you, but he has like huge bastard sword. So you know that once when he's running and shooting at you, it's cool. But once he gets to you, <laughs> he drops off the rifle to pick up his huge uh, sword and start to chop you off. So uh, he was hard for me, uh, but came out great. I hope. Uh, and Solace. Those ones are my favorite. Uh, I had a lot of fun making him. I I think I personally I like him the most from the from the release. Uh, and also he was he was not that easy to make because the short description, of course, from, beside the description of the rulebook was that yeah you are they are like Borg, but like playable for the character. So they are like good guys or they are not like zombies. And I was like okay, let's have a look on the on the art. And actually they look like very dark uh, and I love this art so and, and of course since they were supposed to be playable by the characters they, they should uh, that was like the, um, uh, the Chris told me to do this they, they should have hands uh, to have like weapons not without with those guns attached to to his uh, elbows so okay okay how can I do this and I start to, to making him like from this art uh, the problem is like was like very typical for the 3D print and for the miniature stuff. If I was making him one to one like from the rulebook, he would be very flat, and that would be very visible on the on the miniature. Uh, of course, he still have some flat surfaces, but I I decided to go with the the robot from Lost in Space um, series from Netflix probably uh, like the feel because he's like have similar head and this rigid armor. I think I, I pulled it off. He has a very, very cool pose, uh, and I have to also improvise his feet because uh, usually when I'm making the minis, who has legs like here, so they are like, like, like spikes. Uh, they, then there are of course comments. Uh, okay, okay, how do I attach this to the base? So don't worry, this guy is here and his legs are very flat. At the bottom, so you can easily, uh, easily attach him to the to the base. That was why he has like different feet to the art, uh, to the art. Uh, and I also like like his pose. He's like menacing, menacing. Uh, he's a good guy, then good guy, character guy uh, for the player. But he's still like this pose, like almost like ready to pounce or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like him a lot. Uh, I know this is not cool to to be proud of yourself, <laughs> but I'm a bit um, with this mini. He's not very, like, super special, detailed, extra mini with lots of parts and like, no, he's just cool standing, menacing looking guy and that's why I, why I, why I like him and I hope you guys like him too. Um, then, of course, Modifus Entertainment prepared for us uh, special stat blocks because Month to month, we are giving you stat blocks on the, for the other system. Now this will probably change, but this month in the anniversary, you have crew stat blocks, especially for this crew. So if you like to start uh, to uh, to play Far Parsex from Home, and since this release, you will have a discount for the digital copy, 50%, and for the hard copy, which is this is like crazy cool, 20% off. Um, this is this is awesome. Uh, and the stat blocks, stat blocks already made for 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 the crew. This is like, uh, I think this is like very cool way to get into it if you don't playing the five par five five parsecs from home already. Uh, and the discount code. This is like important stuff, like information. Uh, once the release will be out, so tomorrow, uh, the codes will be coming to you like the in the upcoming week. So through the uh, separate email. So don't expect to find this in inside of the release. Uh, please be a bit of patient because we have had to uh, generate like uh, individual passcodes for you. Mm, so that's the, the and then the distribution uh, way will be different. But everyone, every our patron in this month will receive this code. So I think there is a co cool way to get into the five parsecs from home. Okay, next. Uh, vent crawlers. Okay, wh what could it be? Vent crawlers. Like monsters that are crawling inside of the vents in the spaceships and probably eat you. Uh, and I was already like 
deep inside making a lot of characters. So I asked Martin to do like base shape for the for the crawler, and later I will like prepare them as a unit. So he worked uh, on them from the um, rule book, from the art. Lots of details, as usually. This is like Martin's way to make a lots of details. Uh, lots of, but also on the art they they had like lots of uh, eyes. Um, and they are like, they are not that small. They are actually, this is, this bases are 40, 40 millimeters, not, not 32. So they are like a bit bigger. Uh, I can show you the, the side of the human. So they are like, not that small enemies. Uh, and you have five of them. If you will mirror them into the printing, you have 10 different crawlers, like a lot of to, to things you can, you, you, you can shoot. Uh, so yeah, and that and like I said, and that was the work of of the marching. So this is the first like unit of that we agreed to make uh, for the enemies for the players, and the second one was the converted. And yet again the difficulties. And this is not like difficult because if I was already like uh, heavy playing five par six from home, this probably will be easier for me. Uh, but <laughs> besides that, uh, I love the that this game also have like lots of references to the awesome cool sci-fi stuff that I already love and also reference in some of my minis that was like I said this is like very synergy stuff everything fits together with Cyberforge and 5 parsecs 6 from home so that this is very cool uh, and the converted I was I was reading about them in the in the rulebook but there is not like very much about them uh, I also read I don't, I'm not sure if this is a rulebook or maybe on, on the webpage of Modifist Entertainment that uh, the inspiration for them was from this... Uh, I will butcher the name... Scrog? Strog? Uh, the bad guys from the Quake games and uh, the older, so the, the Quake 2 uh, and Quake 2 was actually the Quake that I was playing so but that was like very long ago uh, so that gave me, oh yeah, okay, I get it, because I, will, I won't make another Borg guys, and this time they will be good. I will make, like, something similar to those Quake guys, uh, and hopefully I will, like, uh, hit the mark. Uh, and I think I, I managed, there are five of them, uh, two of them have those masks, and that was, I don't know, if this is the, the, the main guy with this, with this shooting from his arm, um, and this is, like, very much a nod from, for, for the Quake 2. Mm, so I'm really hoping uh, we hit the mark with them. Also, some of you commented, maybe Alex, because Alex is very active on of the comments as always. Thank you. But if not, I'm sorry. But but some of you uh, commented that uh, he loved the release. Everything is very cool and he likes it. But uh, there's like not, not uh, much of the cyber very the cyberpunk punkish stuff. But they guys are unit and we have like. Uh, no individual pictures for them, but if you can take a closer look, they are like very cyberpunkish. You can like make them like some kind of kind of gang of cyborgs uh, from them. So I'm I'm hoping that they will uh, fill this this space of uh, cyberpunkish stuff in this release. Uh, but all the other guys, like the engineer, um, the captain, even. And he's like very Destiny-like. We also was thinking he was uh, he will fit awesome to our old release, the Guns and Roses, the guys who were like space uh, monster hunters, which will be probably hopefully back uh, someday because this that was a very cool release. But uh, this was the second units, and they are all unique. So this is not like one mini, and they have just different poses. But they are actually like five characters with. What I, I think they have only the similar boots because I want them just have like a small feel that they are like from one unit, like from one one of one kind. Uh, but other than that, they are unique models, uh, and I make them with all the carefulness like the other ones. So I hope you will like them too. But there was like too much, too much, too many of uh, renders. If I, if I have to show you them separately we'll have like 50 renders in i don't know in the release so uh yeah some cool work with these guys and i like like make these guys like zombies uh, cyborgs psychos that is a like, cool uh, cool work to do and I'm, I'm i'm i think i hit the mark so i'm cool with that okay 
Uh, next, we are already in the in the Grim Realms, but I will get back to this because we are still in the mo uh, in the five parsecs from home stuff. And over here, uh, I was talking to other Marcin. Okay, uh, Marcin, I know that we have a lot of work, but this is an anniversary, and uh, we make it this with the modifiers. We have to like step up our game at this month. Uh, who wants? Who needs to sleep? Come on, <laughs> and just make lots of stuff for them. We usually make lots of stuff. I know that most of you will probably not print everything from this but we strongly encourage you even and especially if you will play five five six of home from home because we not we are not showing this in the renders but all of the terrains even the spaceship is modular so we can like print only small stuff only that what you need for your session or for your setup or maybe for dioramas something like that uh, and those are actually very uh, known uh, known locations from the rulebook from uh, so they are like special locations um, but I don't want to butcher the names. Uh, Starship is like inspiration, uh, only from the from the cover art. Uh, but we have uh, the, the oh yeah, what was the name? Oh, of course, of course, I turned it off. Um, it's here. Uh, and please, I, I, I'm I'm sorry if I if I say this wrong, but uh, Cognas Arms uh, and Chris wanted uh, he he don't wanted it, but. He was saying he liked it, and I was like, okay, Martin, we are making this because he likes this, and, and this will be probably cool for them uh, and for the players. So, and also we have uh, uh, Beres Casino, uh, so like tables, like uh, slot machines, everything is modular, so you can like only take slot machines and use it in your setup and other other stuff. Uh, and and the bases are like based on the on those terrains, so still fitting for for for, for the setup. Uh, spaceship, of course, is, you, it can be very big because you can input inside those uh, segments and it can be uh, larger. It can be smaller. Uh, over here, you have like this. Uh, the opening is like for the two wings, but it can be shorter, so we can make this also like a smaller version. Mm, so yeah, Martin Martin uh, did this work uh, very very well. Uh, and it's huge hope uh, I'm hoping you will find it useful not only for five parsecs from home uh, and this is it I, I have to like 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 cut it short almost so I will just uh, like I said five parsecs from home uh, so cool stuff but we still have Grim Realms in Grim Realms th th this month you will receive the first company combat bikes they are like a bit modular I can show you them over here uh, so heads and arms um, you can you can exchange them. Uh, of course, the the bases are in in the well compact, so you can fit them on on the bases, especially designed for the bikes. And they have the leader, the the first company captain, and it's not shown here. Oh, it's over here. So you can you can see the this special uh, this special shield that he has, also the cloak on on, on his arm. Uh, so uh, so yeah yeah this is also the captain and I was already showing you the uh, in the small preview the PDP assault pod huge stuff like I said I will use it <laughs> because I don't play this kind of games uh, I will use it all as a terrain actually I like almost uh, see it as a like as a tower when I, I'm sometimes I play Apex Legends and there's like like tower when you can like stand over there so yeah yeah that's my like that's like my stuff. And uh, also the other Martin uh, was preparing uh, another faction for the Hyperfront. And really, Hyperfront is so cool. Really, I love those small star starships. This is the Hellstorm Armada. Uh, I love the design. Uh, awesome. And I can't wait, really guys, I can't wait for you to start, for us to, for you to start showing you the gameplay for the Hyperfront. Because it's so easy, so so cool playing. You can just like, like, like pew, pew, pew. <laughs> this should be like tagline for the hyperfront. Hyperfront, pew pew pew. But yeah, really, it's so cool, so cool. Um, also, you will not receive uh, this month the card for the Grid Wars. So already, someone, some of you was talking about this that we are putting too much of this and it maybe not always fits. But we was already like, was this is the last card because there is some movements in space about the Grid Wars. At last, something will happen but as always i can't promise anything because previously i didn't promise it and and it is just like it takes time it, it it 
takes time. There's like lots of other projects that we also have to do. But yeah, I have some also this. I, this is like good word for all you Grid Wars lovers. I'm among them. Grid Wars for life, like Cyberforge for life. But yeah, uh, so this is like um, good news. And uh, I think this overview is uh, is it. We are still, uh, we are this month, we are going to the Berlin, to the event. Uh, so you can maybe meet us over there. And there are so many things are coming in the Titan Forge generally that we are like drowning. I'm, I know I'm saying this all the time, but really I'm not lying. Everyone over here is drowning in work because we are preparing some awesome projects for you guys. Um, yeah, this whole uh, YouTube studio I was talking about it. All, all I was talking about in the previous news, like in half a year ago, they are still coming and they are still true. But these things takes time. It takes those things takes time, uh, and time is always against us. We will uh, like try to 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 make it better. Uh, like I said, the preview is coming out tomorrow. <sighs> And I have to get back to work. <laughs> okay, fine. But guys, uh, I'm so excited about this five parsecs from home stuff. Like I said, hopefully, and everything seems to be in place for this to be not one time thing. So uh, I can't tell you how it will look like, but I think five parsecs from home will find a place in the Cyberforge in the future. But for now, enjoy the minis. Uh, give us some comments. Oh, and this, and of course, uh, write uh, the like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, also write over here also in this video, you did it in previous one, and also do this in this one. Write me a question because once the release is out, so like in the next week, I will make the video solely, uh, so only for the Q and A for the Patreon related stuff in Cyberforge and like general technical stuff also in Titanforge. Uh, so shoot up with some questions. And until then, stay cool, stay at uh, length of 5 parsecs from home and stay cyber.